Well, it's time to saddle up and bring the family to Cloverdale for the second annual Indiana Equine Roundup. Events kick off tonight with a sip and shop event from 5 until 9, and a whole bunch of fun is planned for the weekend. Our Tom McClanahan is live at CBRC to show us around. How you doing, partner? Tell us what's going on. Thanks a lot, Mike. We're here at Seabar C in Cloverdale. If you've never been here, you owe it to yourself to come over this weekend because it's going to be the place that's uh, happening in the uh, general Wabash Valley area. I have two fine guests with me today, Bryce Howell, the PR director here at Seabar C, and Carl Harlan, the owner of Seabar C here in Cloverdale. Bryce, tell us what people can expect this weekend. It's going to start in less than an hour. Yes, sir. So second annual Indiana Equine Roundup brought to you by Curlin Trailers. Out of Silver Lake, Indiana. Okay. Pretty much anything to do with the horse. So, uh, nationally recognized clinicians, rodeos, food vendors, kitty area, beer gardens, pretty much anything you'd want to do, you can find it here this weekend. Let's be a little more specific about the events happening. So, throughout the throughout the day, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll have nationally recognized clinicians that are going to give an hour long demonstration. You can come and watch, learn about your specific topic. And then both nights, Friday and Saturday, we're going to have a ranch rodeo brought to you by Cal Pokes Works in Western. And then Saturday night after the ranch rodeo, Isaac Redden or the Revolvers is going to play a two-hour concert. Hey, that's when the party really gets going here. All kinds of food and so forth. Yes, we have uh, three food vendors here. We've got two coffee vendors, two beer gardens, so pretty much anything you want. Anything you want, you can find it here at C-Bar C in Cloverdale. Carl, you're a local guy from Vigo County and the owner here at C-Bar C. How did you get involved? Yeah, my wife actually got me involved in, in horses, and uh, Cindy and I have been married just over 37 years and um, 10 years ago this place became available and we decided it was an adventure we wanted to go after and so we bought it and here we go there you go and you you're pretty well booked for the rest of the year yeah, 46 weekends this year. Our uh, economic impact to the state of Indiana is over $220 million, and to the Putnam County area, it's $66 million. That goes to show you just how happen a place this is. And for the second annual event here, tell us about the uh, price of admission and so forth. So adults are $10, children 7 to 18 are 5, and kids 6 and under are free, and free parking. So the, here it is. This is the place to be this weekend. You know, the weather's not the greatest. You're not going to be outside. Come on in under roof here at Seabar C. And anything you want to know about the horse business and horses in general, you'll find here. And it's uh, the accommodations are just outstanding. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Tom. And another invitation for Seabar C's second annual equine roundup right here in Cloverdale. Mike, back to you. Tom and guests, thank you so much. They're not horsing around. That's a heck of an event. Head on out there this weekend. Well